this is the crazy cricket lady again. We're going to cover in this video how to do HTV when you're using more than one color. We're going to be doing this t-shirt. It's really large and has two colors in it, but we're going to press it in three different pieces. To get started, we're going to take these two pieces off and set them aside. And we're going to do the first piece, which is the moon in the center. First, you got to preheat your shirt. This is regular HTV, so we're using 315 for a temperature for 30 seconds. I have them written on a little cheat sheet over here. I keep that cheat sheet with me all the time. Okay, our shirt is preheated. Make sure all the wrinkles are out of it. And then you want to line this up so that it's straight about that far from the top of the shirt. So the thing about two colors is, or more than one color, and we'll be doing one here in a, later that has multiple, multiple colors. You have to make sure every layer is covered when you're pressing. That's why I keep those little Teflon sheets. And it's ready, so we're going to first do this one. 315 for 30 seconds and I'm going to put a lot of pressure on it usually I stand but my my legs aren't quite what they used to be so I'm just going to lean into it and press it very very hard and being regular vinyl it should be a warm peel okay so we're going to give it a minute or two to to cool off I'll be back okay it's cooled down to medium warm right now, and I'm just going to peel this up. Try to aim this down so that you can see me peel this up. It just peels up fairly easily. There we go. Again, save this. You're going to need it. Now, I'm going to do these moons in separate pieces, so I'll be right back. i got to adjust my camera. Okay, I sort of had my video pointing down at the artwork now, and I'm going to work with these moon, half moons one piece at a time. And as you can see, they fit right in there. Unfold this so that it has the whole piece. Now, make sure you cover the other piece. And the other pieces are foil, so we're going to turn the temperature down to 295 while I'm playing with this. Okay. you I designed this so that they line up exactly. Actually, I sliced one from the other, so they should line up exactly in that cutout section. Okay. There we go. Lines up perfectly. And make sure you cover the original. Now, we may not have heat over every part of that, but that keeps it from melting. Now, the nice thing about this design is that I can press this point, this side, and while it's cooling, because remember, foil is cold peel, I can be pressing the other side, too. So, I'll be back in a minute when my heat press is cooled off. Okay, the heat press is cooled off. Now, I'm going to take this apart for a second and preheat the section of the shirt I'm doing. <clears throat> Make sure it's lying flat. Keep the cover over the piece you've already done because you don't want to accidentally heat it too far. Okay, and we're just gonna warm up this section. Now, take this piece off and line this up exactly where it's supposed to be. Put the cover back on that and we're going to heat this. And I'm going to lean into it and press the little button. And remember, foil is cold peel. 
So we're going to do this one. And then we're going to press the other side. And then we're going to come back and peel this one. It should be cool by then. Okay. Now we're going to move over to the other side of the shirt. We're going to pre-warm it. And remember, I already have the cover still on the other side. This cover, but we have to take it off to add this piece. Is. There it goes. Put the cover back over that piece. And now we're going to press this piece. And press really hard on it. And I'll come back when this is done. Let's check this. This is nice and cool. So... We're going to take the cover off this center because it's already done. And then this school is done. So we're going to pull it off. Okay, and you can see that's all nicely pressed. We're still waiting for this side to be cold enough to peel. And now it's cool enough, so we'll peel this side. And our two color shirt is done. Now this is a 2X shirt. So if you're doing a smaller shirt, you'll need to shrink the design a little bit. But this is a nice Wiccan design. Now I'm going to do another. And I'll be back as soon as I get it all set up. Hi. The next shirt I'm doing is a Hocus Pocus shirt. Now, this is not available for download because Lord knows I don't want to piss off Disney. They own the rights to Hocus Pocus, I don't, but I'll tell you how I did it. The blonde haircut is just a access image. The other two haircuts, I found something basic and then made a whole bunch of circles and welded them all in, onto the hair trial and error until I got it right. Put some lips in there, did the text, and voila, you can make it too. Like I said, I, I, I don't want to piss off Disney. So, on this one, I can press, even though they're all different colors, they're all basic HTV. So, as long as the vinyl layer is the bottom layer everywhere, I can press it all at once whether they're the same color or not. Now, I'm going to use my handy-dandy Teflon sheet. It's more for sizing than anything else, but it does come in handy. And everything fits under the 12 by 12, so I just want to re-emphasize. The lips are the bottom layer on all of these images. They do not cover any of the hair. None of the Teflon coating covers any of the hair. So therefore, I can press it all at once. And it is regular, so we're going to turn it back up to my handy dandy little note. 315. We'll just wait a minute for it to heat up. Okay, we're ready to go. Put this over the top. We're probably going to have to do this in two. 
because I don't think one will hold it, will cover everything. So we're going to do this twice. Some pieces are going to get covered more than once, but that's okay. As long as I leave the Teflon sheet on, it doesn't matter. And text, it never hurts if you have a little extra on heat and pressure on them because text is the hardest thing to make stick. Okay, now we're going to scoot this up and do it again. And the lips are teeny tiny, so it's good that they're getting a double press. Okay. Now we're going to take the top Teflon sheet off. By the way, when these are hot, they're very, very flimsy. But they're very... That when they cool down, they're much thicker. And we're going to let this cool just a little bit. It's all warm peel, but hot is a little hot. So, we'll give you a couple of minutes. Okay, I'm starting to take the Teflon off now. And, oh, the lips aren't sticking. Okay, we're going to have to redo the lips. And that lip stuck. Get all of this off. There, we got all of that off. And we'll fix the lips at a later time. But there it shows you how to... Do multiple colors at once. As long as they're spread enough apart, you can press it all at once. This is Carmel, the crazy cricket lady, and that's how you do multiple colors. And these are a copy of the two finished shirts I made. I accidentally made a mistake with the Hocus Pocus shirt and put the lips on top of the Teflon sheet for the hair, and therefore I had to remake a pair of lips. But these are the two finished products and you can download them at my website.